In the very heart of the 13.2 million acre Wrangell St. Elias National Park lies one of Alaska's most hidden gems, the pioneering towns of Kennecott McCarthy. The area is everything you'd expect from the last frontier, mountains, glaciers, and untouched wilderness. But what makes this place truly mythical is the journey to get there. To share the experience, three of us filmmakers, Luke, Dimitri, and Kitty, decided to head off on the road less traveled. This is how to get to McCarthy. Getting to McCarthy consists of three parts. The highway, the gravel road, and the footbridge. It is an absolutely stunning and epic journey, and in places, very remote. If you want to skip the gravel road altogether, you can take a scenic flight from Wrangell Mountain Air, who offer flights daily from Chitna to McCarthy. The residents of McCarthy and Kennecott live off the grid by choice, and the inability for cars to get into town is one of the things that makes this place so special. But we'll cover that later. Yes, so let's get to it. Dimitri, faster. I want to get there on time. Our journey started in Anchorage, Alaska's biggest city, and more precisely the Glen Highway, where you answer the call of the wild north to quickly leave the city behind. The Glen is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful highways in the country. It's also very simple and only has one main junction about 40 miles in. Stay left and you head to Talkeetna and Denali on the park's highway. But we stayed with Glen and went right into the quiet town of Palmer. Palmer is one of the last towns we met on the trip. It's also the best pit stop for about 140 miles. After Palmer, you quickly find yourself stepping into an endless panorama of natural beauty as the Glen charts an epic course between the Chugach Mountains on your right and the Talkeetna Mountains on your left. The Chugach Range boasts the highest recorded snowfalls on Earth, while the Talkeetnas are a much milder range that few people really explore. There are lots of pullouts on this segment of the journey as you follow the Matanuska River. At around mile 90, you get your first view of the Matanuska Glacier. It's one of only a handful of glaciers that you can actually walk right onto, and there's a little access rope that leads right to it. And for the best experience, we recommend going with a local that can take you ice climbing or trekking. Our first view of wildlife came at the Sheep Mountain Lodge when we spotted doll sheep traversing along the polychrome mountains. Also keep an eye out for caribou, moose, bear, and porcupines. There's sheep up there. After cresting the Eureka Flats, the landscape mountains fizzle into foothills. And when we started seeing thick forests of black spruce, we knew we were getting close to Glen Allen. Glen Allen is a good place to fuel up. It's also where the Glen Highway ends and the Richardson Highway begins. Right, so the Richardson Highway is 368 miles long and goes from Fairbanks to Valdez. We turned right and kept one eye peeled for the distant and awesome Mount Drum, which was our first view of the Wrangles. So you stay on the Richardson Highway for only about 30 miles before you hit the Edgerton Highway on your left. Which is your ticket to Chitna and the gates of Wrangell St. Elias National Park. It's a beautiful drive and really remote. There are only a handful of homes dotted along the highway here. And a yak farm. And a few sweet pullouts, which are well worth the extra time. Our favorite on the Edgerton was the Liberty Falls Campground and Trailhead. Tucked away on the right-hand side of the road, it's easy to miss. However, the place is a little gem. There's also great hiking opportunities here, as if the public restrooms weren't enough. From here, it's just a short hop to Chitna. Chitna and the Chitna River, a physical and symbolic step into the wild. Once you cross the Chitna River, you have entered Wrangell St. Elias National Park, which is the largest national park in the United States. Right across the bridge, you meet the gravel road. The McCarthy Road has had over $6 million of improvements, so forget the horror stories you've heard. The state does a great job of keeping the road throughout the summer months. Alaska saves the best for last, and the scenery along this road was spectacular. Rugged is probably the best way to describe this part of the journey. You are weaving through the sweeping glacier valley with rivers carving their way through these mountain ranges. In a great way, 
you feel like a visitor to this part of the world. One of the highlights of this journey is the Cuscalana River Canyon and Bridge. This 525 foot long single lane bridge was built in 1911 during the dead of winter. Today, it's fun to park the car on either side and walk across. Okay, so you've passed all the sights and scenes and you're getting close to your final destination. We have made it. Uh, however, we're gonna haul the gear. If you plan to stay in McCarthy or Kennecott, you'll be crossing the footbridge. The good news is that there are plenty of shuttle options on the other side of the river to get you where you need to go. Just show up before 9 p.m., otherwise you're likely to be hitchhiking. Kitty with the gear cart. You're earning your dinner right here, Kitty. You're earning your dinner. How you doing, Luke? I'm glad we traveled light. Go, Dimitri, go! The locals say, though, where the road ends, the adventure begins. And as you cross the footbridge, you feel like you've just entered into the real Alaska. This is a place that few visitors to this state will ever see. But it's so worth the trip. We certainly fell in love with the place during our filming in Kennecott and McCarthy, and we'd highly recommend the drive to anyone willing to go for it. And remember that you can always take a scenic flight from Chitna if you'd rather. We hope this guide is a helpful tool for you as you plan your Alaska vacation. And feel free to check out alaska.org for more information about the drive, as well as to see some of the tours that we shot while we were there. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good.